Good morning, my name is Airman Jesse Londano and I am from Air Station Atlantic City. Currently, I am at AMT A School at the Aviation Technical Training Center in Elizabeth City, North Carolina. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to properly fill out a maintenance procedure card. Maintenance procedure cards are important to be properly filled out and completed in order for assets to remain ready for operations. Let's begin by filling out the MPC card. The first important thing to do is ensure you have the current and correct MPC card. Your correct and current MPC card can be found in ATIP if you are in aviation and in CG limbs if you are ashore or afloat. This can be found on the Pixel dashboard. Let's begin with the aircraft number, which might also say asset number if you are ashore or afloat. This is a card for a Coast Guard 65 Hilo, so we will Place this as the asset number. Next is your operating activity, which can also be called the OPFAC number. This number is a five digit code, which is unique to your specific unit. Moving on to maintenance accomplished block. Here is where you are going to fill out exactly what day, month, and year that you filled out the card and how many asset hours were on that asset when it was com uh, complete. Today is the 6th. You can find this information, which the date and time will be in Zulu, and the asset hours will all be found on Almas. Moving on to the maintenance due block, this is going to tell you what kind of maintenance you're doing, if it's going to be calendar by date or hourly by the asset hours. Let's say that this is for an this is an hourly card. We will put your asset hours here and your asset hours here should be relatively close to each other if your card is being accomplished on time. Next, you're going to move on to the action block. Your action block gives you a little bit of information about what kind of maintenance is going to be completed that day. For example, other than inspect, it could say remove or replace. Next is the description block. This one, for example, is aircraft cables. This uh, code can tell you, help you look up what type of car that you need in Almas, excuse me, in a tip or in CG limbs. Next, you're gonna move on to scheduled or unscheduled maintenance. Your scheduled maintenance can be found in the maintenance due list and your unscheduled could possibly be some type of repair. Aircraft cables is a scheduled maintenance, so we will check that box. Moving on to man hours or man labor hours. This is where you're going to fill out how long it took you and your other technicians to complete the card. You are going to choose your rating and you're going to fill out how long it took you uh, by hours. Let's say this card took three hours. Moving on to remarks. Here's where you're going to put any pertinent information about how the MPC went and if there's any information such as removing a part or something that you think is important to share. If there is nothing that you think is important and the card went exactly how it should, you can write no discrepts. Moving on to the technician signature, here's where you will sign your name. It is also important to ensure that you print your name so that they know who completed the card in case they have any questions about it. Next is the technician ID. This is going to be your employee ID, the last four digits or the last four of your social. And lastly, we're gonna move on to this QA check. Not all cards have this, but some do. So if you have a QA or a quality assurance check, you need to ensure that that gets checked by your unit's QA. This concludes the video on how to properly fill out a maintenance procedure card. I hope you found this video useful and thanks for watching.